what are some of the main advantages of using the Cloud Posse EKS module uh, versus the quote normal ones? <laughs> this is all a matter of perspective, right? So to us, ours is the normal one, but hey, I, I, I'll give it to you. So uh, we, from the offset, had a very different approach to EKS uh, and how to do it. So while the uh, Terraform AWS modules, uh, which is a, a non-official community group of uh, Terraformers, uh, has one way of doing EKS. Our approach from the get-go was treat node pools as disjoint, as not part of the EKS cluster itself. So basically this allows us to make the node pool architecture custom per customer requirement versus standardize and force everyone uh, to do it just one way. So this makes it very easy for us to mix and match uh, the combinations of uh, spot inst versus fully managed node groups versus Fargate profile node groups in any configuration that we want across any subnets in any way that we want without making an enormously complex cluster, EKS cluster module uh, you know, with complex maps that you got to iterate over uh, to create it. So I, I feel like doing it the way we did it is a little bit easier to test. And the fact is that we actually have tests. So they aren't the end all be all. We can always improve our tests, can't we all? But at least one of the things is every change to the cluster at least confirms that our default stock settings for the module will plan, apply, and destroy cleanly and that node groups will join the cluster. And before we had automated tests for this, oh my God, our modules never worked any time after we received contributor requests. So I feel like this has eliminated a whole class of problems we've had running an open source ecosystem uh, that you don't get with the Terraform AWS community modules. Now, what did I start off our call with today? <laughs> Uh, talking about our EKS node group uh, module. And one of the downsides is, you know, one of our latest changes, uh, this overhaul pull request had some breaking changes. So yes, we, we, we were unable to maintain backwards compatibility at this time, but I think that is the norm in the Terraform ecosystem today, that it's very hard to maintain multiple stable, versions of modules, we're all volunteers and there's just too much work to go around. 